Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Just remember now, whatever you want from God, you only reciprocate what you give Him. Can't get that more than that. Amen. Acts three. I don't got to do a breakthrough. Okay. Good luck. Acts three and nineteen. We started the teaching. I don't know if anybody remember because this is part two. Times of refreshing. The times of refreshing. I believe. It. We're in the times of refreshing. I believe it. I believe God is uh, doing some things. So uh, Wednesday we set the backdrop. I'm not going to get a history lesson I gave on the first three chapters. But I know all of us here, we're, we're disciplined learners, true disciples of the Lord Jesus. So we already know that this, is, uh, this particular chapter is, is uh, uh, the inauguration of the kingdom as it relates to humanity. It was sealed on the resurrection, and after the resurrection, 40 days later, 50 days later, 40 days Jesus spent time talking about the kingdom, and then on the 10th day from the 40th day, which is 50, a sound came from heaven as they were gathered in the upper room. And so we know that that Transpired, and the man that held the keys, Peter, stood up and began to speak and declare some things about what is on the horizons. You know, the kingdom that John the Baptist inferred to had became a reality through the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Right? Mm -hmm. And so you go into that third chapter, you find out we talked about that gate called Beautiful. The kingdom is not only only in word, but it's in power. So the man got up who was once lame from the mm -hmm. mother's womb and began to walk it out. Amen. And then the religious leaders get, get upset because whenever God does something outside the box, you're going to find people get upset with you. Absolutely. When you make up your mind, you're ready yeah. to serve God and do something that's against the norm, status quo. Come on. All the people you thought was deep, <laughs> all of a sudden got shallow. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and maybe. You know, <laughs> I don't know, I've been around with people, I'm just speaking for my own, you know, you know, because you started going against the grain, you started hearing differently, seeing differently, talking differently, walking differently, and they want to reel you back because you're getting too big for your britches. So they want to keep a rap on you because you're getting out of control because you took Jesus literally. Come on, that's good. Mm -hmm. You took him for what he said. Yeah. And you found him, and you're beginning to find that he's faithful yes. to his word. Yes. Right? Yes. So we, we, we went through scriptures and found out that he stood up in the midst of a perverse and crooked generation, which was the Sanhedrin system, mm -hmm. the religious system of his day, which is still in existence now. Mm -hmm. That's why we have an eschatological quagmire. We've been convoluted with different wisdoms that did not necessarily proceed from the throne of God, but is a byproduct of the wisdom of men. Go ahead. But thank God we're sobering up. Yeah. And we're receiving a more sure word of prophecy. Yeah. Amen. 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 And that is the grafted word, the living word that God is bringing to the body of Christ across the globe, not just in this local assembly. All right, so we don't have a copyright on what God is saying. It's a cluster in the earth that is pro uh, proclaiming the glad tidings of good things to come. Right? So in this 19th verse, we see something profoundly said. Anybody want to go with me? It says, repent. Therefore, be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing should come from the presence of the Lord. I like that, man. Singular presence, plural manifestations. Yes. Times of reflection from one source. Yes. The presence of God. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So I told you on Wednesday you need to underline what? Repent. Converted. Times of the refreshing. And the presence of the Lord. Right? Alright. Let's go. Next verse. Next verse. And he shall send Jesus Christ, which before was preached unto you. <laughs> He tell him, he basically tell them there's an Ichabod on the system. You're, 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 you're incorrect in your perception of who he is or who he was. You didn't recognize him as Messiah. But the same stone that you rejected 
Mm -hmm. It's become the chief cornerstone. Mm -hmm. That's my preferred phrase. I don't say that, but I'm just saying what I think about it, right? Mm -hmm. So he said, the same thing you rejected, I'm going to send to you. Mm -hmm. That's why you got to be careful on the people mm -hmm. you size up. God might just send them back to you. Okay. I know I am. Yeah. You got to be able to receive all me. Right? Okay, next verse. Whom the heaven must receive until the times of restitution of some things. All things. All things. I, I, I was almost tempted to talk about the times of restitution. But I decided to not spend a lot of time. I did a teaching some time ago. But I'm going to revisit it. But we have an issue right now because the times of restitution is supposed to be upon us. It will never materialize or we will never experience it in the way God would have us to experience it. If we're not being repentant or repent of if we're not being converted, if we haven't esteemed the presence of God that brings the times of refreshing, then the restitution of all things would never happen. So there is a system, a principle in place that is necessary for us to begin to become a, accommodating to the rest of re, uh, restitution of all things. I know we think God is going to wrap it up on his own. Come on. But he's not. <laughs> Amen. Amen. In fact, I was talking to one of my dear friends. And she, you know, she was sharing that because uh, a pastor in the city, apostle in the city, was talking about uh, preterism, and, and most of the church got shook up, got shook up. <laughs> we was, <laughs> and he's an error. He's wrong. He's blasphemous. And they couldn't even say the blasphemous right. He's blasphemous. I'm like, he ain't blasphemous. I say, he said, ain't no rapture. Come on. Uh, okay, I'm in good company. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've been preaching that since 2000. Yes. So when it hit the pipe, and you know, he called Wynn over there because one of my other friends that was over there, I, I was talking to her about it. She was like, what you done got yourself into about this? <laughs> 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 I ain't got myself into anything. I've been caught up. Mm -hmm. yes. So all this going to catch up and show you things you can't see no other kind of way. Right. And hear things that you could not hear any other kind of way. If you're still stuck in the masses, Amen. you know, God, you have to get, a, you have to come away with Him and let Him speak a fresh word to you. Absolutely. Yes. Amen. 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 And so, everybody had a fit, you know, preterism this and preterism that. And I don't subscribe totally to preterism, and I know most of the guys that, that does, but I do believe in a victorious eschatology. I believe that uh, that there's uh, things that God's going to do. That he's he's uh, bound himself to according to scripture that he cannot break, yes. and even if one generation don't embrace it, he will raise up another, another generation yes. that will embrace it, yes. because he's not relegated to time as we yeah. are. That time is just his chess piece yes. <laughs> to get things done. Mm -hmm. wow. Time is his chess piece to get things done. All right? So we need to know that the times of restitution is important, but it will never happen because it's impeded and it's rendered powerless because we continue to abridge the word of God and silence the voice of the spirit. That's good. Yeah. If we continue to abridge, modify, tweak, revise the word of God to fit our own suppositions and our own proclivities and we silence the voice of the spirit because most of us associate the voice of the spirit looking into our life through some type of hole to find out what's wrong. Right? Uh, that's most of us, we believe, the, we, we believe the Holy Spirit is here to just point out our faults. He's not here to point my faults out. He's here to point out his dominion, his Amen. provision. Amen. Amen. What he has given us to make for our peace that's what he's talking about, Jesus, right? And the work of the cross. So we got to understand for, for the uh, restitution to happen, there are some things that God is amplifying. And not only is he amplifying and making it large and highlighting it, but he's clarifying it for us. So it will be real applicable. And it's a necessary component for us to be able to uh, adjust our thinking and how God is relating to us as he brings us to a not necessarily the end of time, but end of his process. 
Because I do believe in Ephesians 3.20, it's a world without end. Amen. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I believe people say, well, well, I thought it's going to all be wrapped up. It is being wrapped up. Mm -hmm. Come on. Yeah, it's world without end. Yes. And if we, if, and then what the problem is, we have. Never mind. No, we got more than we got people that understand truths. I'm saying right now. Yes. But because of the people and the money, mm -hmm. it's a big machine. Go ahead, apostle. And if they turn another way, do Come something on. differently. Yeah. Those big old buildings will not be sustained. Mm -hmm. If people leave, that means you can't pay rent. You can you know, so you have a price tag on your head. And therefore, we rather release stay in the lies that we know to be true. Because we're ravaging people and stealing their identity. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's why I say that we should be more the most fluent. Yes. Free flowing yes. Come on. people in the earth. Yes. This house should be a representation of not only the wisdom of God, but the liberty of God. Yes. Because, of, yeah, seriously, I'm, 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 I'm serious. Yeah, because God has so blessed us to bring men and women in here to, to only take what's being shared and accentuate it. Some bring a different view, another prism, another perspective. But it's all to build one entity. Mm -hmm. it's, in sync, it's in sync with what God has given us originally. Mm -hmm. Amen. To empower us to experience ultimate freedom. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. And I don't, for the world of me, I don't know how people can come here and, be, and remain bound. Yeah. Well, come on. I don't know. <laughs> to still be able to do what we want to do. I know some may be mad at me, but that's still not up to me. <laughs> Truth, we can't pick the package. Amen. The content belongs to God. Yes. Right? Yes. 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 Yes.